All right, so I'm going to show you how we're going to set the PID back to the default settings. So let's say, for example, you accidentally went into the PID module settings, uh, like so, and some of these settings may have gotten changed. So I'm going to show you how we're going to go back through and get all these back to where they need to be so that your temperature control box is good to go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to press this left orange button that says set. We want to press and hold it in for about three seconds. And it takes us to the first advanced setting in the PID. That's AL1. And it has the default setting of 0030. So we don't need to make any adjustments here. That's correct. And then we quickly press the set button to go to the next setting, which is AL2. And that is also set correctly, which is 0050. So, okay, so on to the next. ATU, this default setting is also correct, which is 0000. Okay, the P setting is actually not correct. This one's been adjusted. It should be 0030. So we're just going to press down button until we get to 0030. There we go. That's correct now. Okay, the one setting is also incorrect. That should be 0240. So we're going to go press the left button to go over. And then we're going to hit the up arrow twice to change that. And then we're going to go down. So it's now at 240. So that is now correct. So we press the set button again. The D setting is also incorrect. The default setting for that should be 0060. So we're going to use the up until we get to 0060. Now that is correct. All right, the AR setting is also incorrect. So we're going to change that to 0025. We just hit the up button until we get to 0025, and that's now correct, so we press the set button again. That brings us to the T setting, which is actually correct. It should be 0002, so we'll go to the next setting, which is OH. That one is also correct at 0002, so we're going to go to the next setting, which is SC. That is not correct, so we're going to change that to 0, 0, 0, 0, Okay, and then we'll quickly press the set button again to go to the LCY setting, which is also correct at 0, 0, 0, 0. So now we've changed all the settings that um, were incorrect back to the factory default settings. So now that we're good with our settings, you press the set button and hold it in for three seconds, brings you back to the temperature screen. And as you can see, here we are um, and everything is set correctly and the temperatures are just about right preheated. So that's all you need to do to set the temperature control box back to the default settings. And I did this on our four ton unit, which just has one PID module. So if you have multiple PID modules that are affected with the settings being incorrect, you can just change each of the modules independently per the instructions in this video. And that's all you need to do. And now you're back to the default settings.